Guys, what the heck's going on with Winnipeg and Columbus? They make a huge trade today. Uh, Patrick Laine and Jack Roslevic going to the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for Pierre-Luc Dubois and a 2022 third round pick going back to Winnipeg. I want to say I'm surprised by this deal, but to be honest, I'm not really because these are two guys as far as Laine and Dubois go that were rumored to be leaving their team uh, and being traded in a, for a quite some time now. Uh, Patrick Laine, well, for anyways, he was rumored quite some time. Dubois just mostly recently, as he was requesting a trade out of Columbus. He gets that. He goes to Winnipeg today. Uh, he's got to be happy. He gets out from under Tortorella. I think that's probably the reason why he wanted to leave Columbus. Those two definitely didn't see eye to eye, I don't think. Um, you know, Tortorella's a guy where that's kind of the way he is. He doesn't really see eye to eye with certain players, especially star players, it seems like. And then those guys end up leaving. That's the case with Dubois today. Uh, Line A and Roslovic, on the other hand, they're going to Columbus. Patrick Line, I mean, he's a guy who he scores 30-plus goals in his sleep. But to say he's inconsistent might sound funny, but that's exactly what he is because he scores those in bunches. And when he's not scoring, he's not very effective. And by that, I mean he's not that great on the defensive side of the puck. He's not a great skater. For being a really big guy, too, he's not overly physical either. He doesn't make much of an impact for his team other than scoring. Maybe that changes under Tortorella. And it's going to be interesting to see how Line does under Tortorella, too, because... Uh, this is a guy who has been kind of criticized for at times being a little bit not very noticeable and disappearing and maybe his work ethic comes into question. Um, his talent, and no doubt he's a great player, but under John Tortorella you know you're going to have to work hard. So Patrick Laine is going to have to really put on the work boots when he goes to Columbus, that's for sure. Jack Roslevic is a guy who I think could score 20 to 25 goals for the Blue Jackets. I think that's a really good... Uh, little pickup that they made along with uh, Line A in this deal. I think Roslovic's going to be a good support player for them. I don't think he's going to be a superstar. I don't think he's going to score like Line A's going to score. But nonetheless, he is going to be a good support player for the Jackets going forward as well. And also, Columbus announced they had signed Roslovic to a two-year deal worth $1.9 million. So they get the deal done with him. He's going to Columbus. All these guys are going to have to quarantine before they play for their new team for a couple of weeks, uh, or at least in Canada anyways, Dubois is going to have to do a couple of weeks. I'm not quite sure what the rules are down there in the United States. But for Dubois, I mean, he's in Winnipeg now, and the Jets go from already being deep at center to being super deep at center. Uh, so he's going to have to draw into their lineup, I would think, another couple of weeks from now. And Winnipeg fans, I'm sure, are pretty excited to see that. And as far as winners and losers go in this deal, I mean... It's tough to say. I, I'm kind of leaning towards declaring Winnipeg the winner because they get Dubois. Personally, I think Dubois is a better player than Line. But because Columbus gets Roslovic too, I think that really that makes the deal even for sure. Maybe even Columbus wins it. I don't know. It's very tight for me. But I think one for one, Dubois and Line. Dubois is the better player just because he skates better. Uh, he's just more of a force out there, I find. He's more dynamic. Line is kind of a one-trick pony. He's got that really great release, but he doesn't skate that well. And for guys who have a really good shot and really good hands, but they don't skate that well, I mean, it's tough for them to skate themselves into prime scoring positions because if the other team's fast, especially, they're closing in on you and they're not letting you get to prime scoring positions to get that great shot off or to use those great hands in front of the net, right? So it's harder for a guy like Line maybe to do that. Dubois, I find, has more impact on a game. He's, he's big, he's fast, he's physical. Uh, he's got great hands as well, great goal scoring ability, great passing ability. Not as big of a goal scorer as Line, but I think Dubois does have the better upside as far as an all-around complete player than Patrick Line does. But guys, that's my thoughts on the deal. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Who do you think won the trade? If there is a winner and loser, is it too tough to declare right now? Will it be more clarity to this trade in the future, in another couple years or so from now? Who knows? But let me know all that and more in the comment section below, especially if you're a Winnipeg fan or a Columbus fan. Please like and subscribe and share this video, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.